Hello everyone, this is Bamadale from Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Java Programming. We are still on the control flow statement. We'll be looking at the, the switch statement in Java programming. Unlike if then and if then else statements, the switch statement can have a number of possible execution paths. A switch works with a byte, short, character, and integer primitive data types. It also works with enumerated types that's the enum types the string class and a few special classes that wrap certain primitive types character character byte short and integer you no know? i'll i'll be writing an example to actually let us see how to use the switch statement in java i will dash straight to my netbeans id in the package com.delaroy.controlflow I'll create a new Java class called Switch Demo. Click on Finish. All right. Yeah, let's start coding. I'm going to make this my main method anyway, public. Static void main. String um ax my switch statement will be slightly longer, but I really want you to follow what I'm actually doing. I'm gonna declare uh, a variable called month, I'm gonna assign it to it. Okay, a string. Do you all know that in Java string is not a data type? Is not a primitive data types. The string is a class. That's a string class in Java. Always know that we uh, the data type, the primitive data types we have in Java includes the byte, the short, the character, the character, the integer, the double, and the float. You know, string is not a primitive data type in Java. Get that clear? It's a class in Java. Okay, month, um, string. Okay, now I'm going to introduce something you might be fresh with. Um, switch the keyword when you are dealing with uh when you are dealing with statement switch statement you have to include the switch. It's a case, the switch and the case. Now, why are we going to switch? What are we going to be testing on? That's the meaning of switch. Well, why are we going to be switching? What are we going to be emphasizing on? We're going to be emphasizing on the month. Which is the focus of our tests. All right, first case, case one. Okay, um, month string equals to January. January. Okay. Don't forget to add your break very very important your break is very important because you are continuing the the the, the case um test now i'm going to copy this because we continue to need this copy and we have to edit and change some stuff there so don't bother about that but let's copy okay so what is going to be the case two um it's going to be february February. Okay, I'm gonna break it as well. So, I'm gonna paste it over here too. So this is gonna be what? Case three. Are you following? It's gonna be March. Okay. This is gonna be case four. April. This is gonna be case five. Let me drag this down a little bit because we have some space to work on. So what's gonna be May? This is gonna be 
okay six how's it gonna be two it's gonna be three, seven July Guess it's August September Okay. You're following. October. November. Okay. And this is going to be, sorry for that, the last one, November and uh, December rather, the 12th month in a year, December. Okay. Now, after all this test of the month, um, um, integer, yet you can still find something reasonable with this or probably the user imputed 14 18 we don't have any 18 months or 16 months i don't know maybe the year has changed to included 14 months but now if you have that you have to declare something that okay default any other case any other uh, integer that comes in aside from 1 to 12 please assign something to it it's going to be month string it's very possible you just get can mistakenly type in a wrong uh, integer value make it invalid let's say invalid invalid month there's nothing like the 14th month or the 15th month so you use your break to also break it up and now it's getting longer but i really want you to understand the case statement the case and switch you no know, the switch statement rather okay now let's put out something to the console so we know we are in focus because we have the eight months past as um the string uh, the integer stem dot out dot green line so let's know what the eight uh integer signify in terms of the month string month string okay let's know what the eight signifies okay so let's pay it out to the console let's bring this out uh to the console let's see what we get we run it it's august okay from this test we can be able to identify that the month eight which is the case eight here is august now let me pass in something that is not part of this uh string um, the integer of the month then passing 17 let's see what will pop out wrong file invalid month you know this is a good test for the uh, month in the year the case is always very good for the range of values that you're very sure of like now we all know that since when I was, I, I was born I've never seen a 13th month or a 14th month in a year so it's always 1 to 12 so this is a factual value that you do you can use a case statement for that a switch statement for that to test for any value within it and return what you really needed it for so thank you very much for listening hope you really understand what switch statement really means in java i hope you stay glue with my channel because a lot of lots of video tutorials are coming on java and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i love you all bye bye